Hi everybody, so today I'm filming a tutorial for this look. It's a little Violet Tchotchke inspired. I actually used Tchotchke from Glittery Go Go. The purple on the outer part of my lid. I used Kitten, the black, and I used Sagittarius Season, the new iridescent, on the white section and then also on the lips. So it looks totally different whether it's over white or over black. Over black it looks a lot bluer, but over the white you can see, if I turn the light down, you can see it's a nice soft purple. These glitters are so beautiful. They're so, it's so hard to capture just how gorgeous they are. But anyway, if you want to see how I made this look, you include blocking out part of my brow just so I could fit more glitter on my eyes, then um, keep watching. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, so I've covered my brows with glue and now I'm just going to powder them, dust off the excess powder and now start to cover them. So the first thing I'm going to use is this dark circle corrector that should hopefully help to color correct a little bit. So I'm going to put that over with a little bit of a brush and then follow up with this thick concealer from Tarte which should hopefully cover the rest. So I apply that with a brush just making sure to brush in the direction of the brow heads the way we've set them down and then blend out with a sponge. Then I take this angle brush and my Chi Chi brow pomade and I'm going to start sketching in my brow. So the first thing that I do is I do a line along the top of my brow and then a line along the bottom of my brow and then the point where they meet I start to extend, find my arch and then extend out my tail. Then just build on that, fill in, make the tail and everything a little bit thicker. But I mean, it's pretty much the easiest way to work with a cream product and to work with the beginning of your natural brow. It's the, it's the easiest way to, to draw in a new brow, I find. So once you're happy with that, then you can move on to the other brow. So the other brow is much of the same, except you just need to keep looking into a mirror so you can look see so you can look at both brows at the same time so you can see if they're looking the same once you're done kind of have a bit of a look see if you need to change anything and then grab some liquid eyeliner so I use the liquid eyeliner to further define the brows clean them up make sure you've got nice sharp lines and also to darken them a bit a bit so they're really great for the tail because you can get a nice precise point so then, when you're hating one brow and loving the other one, there's nothing you can do, you're just gonna have to live with it. So then you get the Goth White. So Goth White is a cream product which is the cooler cousin of Clown White. And we're gonna use this to highlight the brow bone, clean up the brow, and also to further cover, further cover up the brow hair. Then we'll take this pressed powder called Virgin White and set it, and then take some e.l.f eyeshadow primer and start priming our eyelids. So I just take it directly from the applicator onto the eye and then um, blend it out with my finger. So then I take the Meat Matte Nude Palette and this white color called Matte Malloy and with a fluffy brush I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And this is how I start most of my eyeshadow looks with a nice white base. So I'm going to take this little angle brush and this NYX pressed pigment in black and I'm gonna start sketching out my wing and my crease. So you want your crease to be above your natural crease. Um, I like to kind of follow the shape of my crease for the inner part and then wing it out to meet with where my wing's gonna be. I like to take my wing up pretty high, that's the reason why we lifted our outer part of our brows up so that we can lift our wing up nice and high. So you just want a tiny little bit of eyeshadow on your brush for this so that you can kind of refine it and sketch it out. And then take a little blending brush and start building on it. And because this is a pressed pigment, it's very pigmented. So you just want to take a little bit at a time and just start building up that line. I go all the way into the inner corner, you don't have to do that. And I also start building up on the wing section. So you just want to keep blending and filling making that shape and just adding a little bit of eyeshadow as you go. So 
I'm going to further build up that top section there. And also fill in that corner between the crease and the wing. So then I'm going to take this purple shade, which is a matte purple from the a Sleek palette, take it on a little blending brush, and then just kind of like pack it on to my lid, mostly towards the outer corner of my eye, leaving the inner corner blank. Then I'm going to take this little pencil brush and some more of that black pressed pigment and really build up that wing. Dragging it down to the lash line. And I'm also going to really build up that cut crease. So I guess it's not, I mean, is it really a cut crease? Who knows? It's just, it's a line. I'm going to go fill that um, corner in between as well. And very softly with just a little bit of product, I'm going to build up the crease on the inner area as well. So I'm going to take my goth white again um, on a little pointed brush. And I'm just going to very slowly sketch out a rough kind of half circle on the inner part of my eye. Now, your eyelid is gonna look a little bit different when it's closed and when it's open. So make sure that when you're sketching out this shape, you have a look at how it looks with your eyelid closed and with your eyelid open. But basically sketch out that shape and then go fill it in. Let's do it nice and slowly. Once it's filled in, we're going to take that same virgin white powder on a smaller brush and just set it all. So we're going to take our liquid eyeliner again, this time we use it as eyeliner, and we're going to do our eyeliner, obviously. <laughs> so I like to start my eyeliner from the lash line, kind of towards the middle, work my way into the inner corner, and then start brushing back towards the wing and then starting the wing, extending it up towards that corner, and then just building it and thickening it as I go. And then I like to do the crease, which I like to start from the outer corner and slowly work my way in. This is the best way to do it instead of trying to do one long line. If you just do slowly with little strokes working your way in, you're less likely to make any kind of mistakes. It's a much easier way to do it. So then I'm gonna take some ultimate glitter glue for eyes and chudge key and I'm going to take a little flat synthetic brush, wet it with some water. But first I'm going to brush on the Ultimate Glitter Glue for eyes directly from the little brush. This is really great for some precise work around a cut crease. And then I'm going to start patting on Charge Key all over the purple section. So, I mean, you want your eyeshadow below to be complementary or match to the glitter you put on top doesn't have to be the best application, it's just to add a base color. But you just wanna keep going through, slowly applying the glue. It's better to apply the glue in smaller amounts. You can also use the Ultimate Glitter Glue for lips. It's the same formula, it just has a doe foot applicator, which is better for applying larger areas. So you can go and apply that onto the lid and then go and pat on some glitter on top. I like to use small brushes. So then we're gonna use our Sagittarius Season Iridescent Glitter. We're gonna use the same kind of technique. We're gonna use, put the glitter on. I'm gonna actually cover all of this whole white section in glitter. And then I'm gonna go pat the, the glitter on using a small detail wet brush. And then Kitten, the black glitter. So this is to amp up your eyeliner, make it super black and also shiny. You just want to go through and add section by section a little bit of glue using the ultimate glitter glue for eyes and then with a small detail brush using just the very tip of it a flat brush is great you just want to go and pat on that black glitter it's going to make your wing look amazing so now we're going to clean up because sometimes you know you can get glitter fallout so a bit of micellar water on a tissue we can also use it to clean up the edge of our wing just to make sure it's super sharp and fold the tissue and just kind of drag it along the very edge 
but mostly what we want to do is clean up all that glitter off our off our face and then we're going to take the same concealer that we used earlier to cover our brows and we're going to use it to outline our brows this is going to do two things it's going to further carve out the brow highlight the brow but it's also going to act as like a nice little security zone so when we're adding our foundation we don't have to go too close to our brows and our eyeliner and fudge it up so for foundation I'm using L'Oreal True Match I'm using a Real Technique sponge you know how to put on mis uh, mascara. It's not mascara, it's foundation. You know how to put on foundation. Hopefully you know how to put on mascara. But we're gonna put on our foundation with sponge. So you just wanna be careful around your eyebrows and around your eyeliner. We're not gonna go right under the eye because we're gonna put concealer there. But you just wanna use the tip, <laughs> just the tip and go in and just, you know, be careful around those areas that you don't fudge them up. So then we're gonna go in with our concealer, we're gonna use Tarte Shape Tape, put that underneath our eyes, and then start blending that out. So I like to highlight the sides of my nose. I like to use my finger just to blend right up in that inner corner just so I don't disrupt my, my makeup. And then I like to use a smaller sponge to blend it out so I can get nice and close to my wing without messing it up. So I'm gonna use this to conceal my under eyes and to highlight. I'm gonna bring it down my nasolabial folds. And then also to balance out, I'm going to use the concealer to highlight the other high points of my face. So my chin, my cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, my forehead, and again, a little bit more on my nasolabial folds. So I'm just going to go and blend that out. This concealer is super, super high pigmented, so you only need a little bit. Just make sure that you get it into the creases of your nose. So this is, I don't actually contour my nose. I mean, I'm pretty happy with my nose, but also what I do instead of contouring it is I highlight it. So you can see how by highlighting the sides of the nose and down the center of the nose, it creates a contour. Well, creates a highlight, but you get what I'm saying. So that's all the highlighting done. Now it's time for some contour. So I use the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm just going to use it to contour my cheekbones and also my jawline and also my chin, chins. And I'm going to use this little oval brush, which I really love for blending out contour. I'm going to pull a silly face, totally unnecessary and I'm gonna blend my contour towards my hairline so that the product is more concentrated towards my hairline. And then I'm going to blend the contour down my neck and chin and along my jawline. I really love this brush for this. It doesn't disrupt your foundation underneath and it makes a really fast job of it. So now I'm going to go and just quickly make sure that there's no creases in my concealer before I set it. I'm going to set it with this virgin white pressed powder. So I'm just going to take my little sponge and just rub it directly onto the powder and then press that onto the concealer to set it. So because this powder is white, it's going to help to further highlight under my eyes and on the sides of my nose. It's also going to add a little bit of coverage and I just like it. Then I'm going to take RCMA powder for the rest of my face. Um, I don't like using this under my eyes, but I, do I don't mind using it on the rest of my face. So I'm going to use it to bake in my highlight. So under my cheekbone highlight, on my nose, on my, um, my chin, and on my forehead. Usually I put it on my cupid's bow too, but not today for some reason. So then once it's all on there nice and thick, I'm going to let it sit for a while. And then after it's sat for a while, I'm going to start brushing it away. So I start by brushing away my under eyes with this nice little tapered brush, which I love. And then a bigger powder brush for the rest of my face, using the excess powder to set the other parts of my face that I didn't put powder on. Then once that's done, I'm going to use some powder contour on this flat top angle brush. I use NYX Taupe Blush. I pull that stupid face again, and then I just run the blush along my cheekbone highlight, 
concentrating it again on near my hairline and then I also run it along my chin and jaw highlight just bringing it down the neck so I'm going to take some blush this is just the NYX powder blush in peach which is not very peachy it's much more pink and then I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and then also up the contour um, you want to put on a fair bit of blush because you know it's a pretty extreme look you don't you don't want your face to look too washed out because we're gonna put on black lipstick I also like to put some blush on my contour around my face and the sides of my nose just you know wherever then I'm gonna take some highlighter this is a Colourpop super shock cheek I'm gonna try it with a duo fiber brush but it works a lot better if you just pat it with your finger this one's called Fanny Pack, it may be discontinued, but it is white, it is very bright. It is a great highlighter. You wanna be careful with these, they can lift your um, foundation underneath. But I like to kind of pat them on with my finger and then, you know, maybe blend them out a little bit with the blush, with the brush, I should say. Um, but yeah, let's do whatever works for you. So I'm gonna also highlight my nose and then highlight up to my forehead not too much just a little bit you know just highlighting those zones that we already highlighted with concealer not a great deal though I do like to do a nice little nose beam a bit on my chin and do love to do a cupid's bow highlight so I put a fair bit on there it's one of my favorite spots to highlight And then I like to draw on a bit of a beauty mark just on the top of a big freckle I have with some liquid eyeliner. Why not? Then we're going to set the face. This is the infallible setting spray. I like this one. You do have to shake it. Otherwise, you know, you can end up with white dots all over your face. But it's a good one. I like to use it and then fan my face. And, you know, pretend like I have a wind machine or something. Get all fancy. Have some fun. Then I'm going to put on my lashes with some duo. These are a pair of 301s that I cut a little bit off and then glued it on top. But while I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I'm just going to do my lower lash line. I'm not going to do a great deal to it. Usually I just kind of like to put a bit of black on it just to connect it to the wing up the top. And that's what I'm going to do with my pressed pigment. I'm also just going to clean up any areas that maybe got a little bit of foundation on them. Just sharpen up the wing a bit, make it look nice and crisp. And then I'm going to use this white eyeliner. I love that sound. And then I'm going to use this white eyeliner in my waterline. It's the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm just going to run that all along my waterline and then into the inner corner there. Then my lashes are ready to go on. I like to put them on with some tweezers that I got from the nail section at Daiso. I like to do it by holding a mirror down below. So now I'm going to highlight the inner corner with this purple highlight that I got from Sports Girl. Just on a little pencil brush. And now for lipstick. So I love Sugar Pearl lipstick, Sugar Pearl liquid lipsticks. This is zero, it's black, it's great. I love the applicator, I love the formula. So I'm just gonna go and put my lipstick on. You know how to put lipstick on, don't you? I'm sure you know how to. I'm not gonna do any overdrawing or anything, just regular lipstick, but I am gonna put glitter on. So I'm gonna use the Ultimate Glitter Glue for lips and Sagittarius season. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on one corner and then a little bit of glitter on my finger just so I can get a diffuse application. So I'm going to repeat that. You just want a little bit. We're not going to totally cover the lips with glitter because we still want to see the black through there. So just pat on a little bit of glitter on top and then we'll finish up with some mascara now that our eyelashes have dried just to meld the two together. Do the bottom lashes just, you know, because why not? And we're done. I think we're actually done. So this is the look. It's it's a bit Violet Tchotchke inspired. I used Tchotchke. I also use this beautiful iridescent glitter that looks nice, soft and purple on top of white. and looks much more kind of blue on top of black. But it's beautiful. These glitters are gorgeous. This look is pretty fucking fierce. I love a good lifted brow. 
I love a good cut crease and I hope you enjoyed this too. Bye!